You've kind of surprised everybody this year with how well you've written. Have you surprised yourself? No, I wouldn't say I've surprised myself at all. Um, honestly, I don't really have any expectations. Just want to go out there and have some fun and race my dirt bike. It's pretty basic. So um, I've always raced motorcycles, always ridden them. So for me, it's just about having fun and uh, just having a good vibe out here. So that's what we've been doing. So mission accomplished, basically, you know what I mean? To go from working a nine to five job and then jumping in the races, has that been a big transition for you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's definitely night and day, you know? Doing the nine to five thing, it's, uh, you know, most people in life do that. Um, so the pace obviously is a lot slower, you know? Um, I would say it's actually, uh, it's gnarlier, definitely, because, you know, those days where you don't feel like really getting up and going to work, you have to. So, where with Moto, if you're not feeling that great, you know, you make it an easy day for training and you kind of work around your own schedule. I don't work my own schedule. I get a stack of paperwork. I gotta, you know, be accountable. Um, and then when you show up at the track, the racing, it's just, it's intense, you know? Um, it's uh, it's definitely a lot different, but it's it's really cool to be able to go and, and do my day job and then come out here and, and do some racing and have some fun. So, it's pretty bitchin'. I'm stoked. How did your deal with Kenny and Fast House come about? Honestly, um, probably, it came about probably back in like 09 when I met Kenny and then it slowly turned into what it is now so um, pretty much uh, I don't know exactly how it came to fruition you know what I think it was when uh, how did this all really come about I'm trying to think here as I called you you know what it was I called Kenny before it was before the national right before the two-stroke national that's when it all pretty much came about so Steve came out from Red Bull, and uh, I had called Kenny the day before the Two Stroke National. Said, "Hey, I'm gonna be racing it." So he hooked me up with some jerseys and stuff, uh, some goggles and whatnot. And then he brought Steve out. They were stoked on the whole program. Said, "Hey, Steve, I think actually pitched it. Like, hey, would you want to race a, a KTM possibly at the opening round?" I was like, "Dude, absolutely." So and then I ended up looking at the uh, the date, you know of when the national started and it all just clicked. It was like, okay, this is gonna work. So we pretty much from there, it was like, let's do this. Um, they got me a bike pretty much right away and then got me a practice bike and I just started riding and uh, going out on the weekends and just plugging away, you know, and boom, that was it. So it was pretty uh, it's pretty awesome how it all came together, you know? It wasn't like we all had our ulterior motives. It was just like, come out, just have some fun, do some racing and Boom, you know, and then Kenny's really pushing the fast house thing. So, um, you know, and that the whole fast house crew, everything's just great. So, we're stoked. We got a great uh, deal going on with Troy, and he's helping out. Um, you know, Vaughn Zippers hooking it up. We got Garnet on board, and you know, we got a great group of guys. I got my uh, boss man slash mechanic and friend helping out. So, I got the support from you know my employer, which is obviously key because they could just pull the plug on the whole program right away so um, I got his support maybe not the whole support from the whole crew you know with my my workforce because they're kind of they know how risky it is racing and they don't want me to uh, obviously get hurt because I, I do a lot of work for them during the month and if I were to get hurt they'd have to cover me so yeah um, but you know what I'm, I'm thankful for them to just kind of bite the bullet and be like you know what let's let them go out and have some fun do some racing and boom we're here we're making it happen um, you can't beat this out here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's wonderful. So I'm stoked. I got blackberries all around here. You can go grub on some. Man, we're just styling. So it's good stuff. The bike's pretty stuff. I mean, endo suspension and yeah, ice. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that bike right there is pretty much a production uh, 2013 Factory Edition 450 KTM. Yeah. So only thing that's done to it, I got Enzo hooking up the suspension. Yeah, I forgot about them. And obviously, they're helping out a lot. They got the thing working great. Will down there, I've been working with him, you know, via phone conversation, and uh, we got the thing pretty much dialed in. So I think all we got is, oh yeah, FMF, man. Gotta plug them, forgot about those dudes. Come on now. So little D and the boys out there, they're hooking it up, and man, we're just having a blast. So pretty much all, that, the only thing that bike's got is, I got some uh, Renthal bars, I got uh, an FMF exhaust, and a sprocket, and some fuel, you know, some 91 pump gas, boom, and we're ready, so. Uh, it's pretty cool.
for you now to just come out and race every now and then whenever you want. Is it more fun and less pressure and you can perform better rather than it was when you were trying to make it a few years ago? Honestly, I've never been one of the guys to like sit there and stress and worry like that. I've yeah. always been kind of low key and I'm pretty good at channeling that energy and just focusing on the you know task at hand and going out and just riding and that's what it's always been like for me. Um, However, before it was always trying to like get a ride or I had a ride and I was trying to keep that ride, you know, so I was, I had more pressure surrounding myself in that sense. So now I have my day job, you know, so the key is to try and stay healthy and have fun. So pressure wise and honestly feels the same, but the vibe's different because we're not going out there being like, all right, let's see if we can get a ride from factory Honda or one of these guys. We're just, we're just riding dirt bikes. So. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. You know what? It's it's been super cool that we, you know, hooked up with Sean and he's just um he's got a great vibe, great personality, and he just um one he's just one cool cat and I just thought, gosh, how can we get him out there and go do three or four of these things and um you know, have fun and you know, we don't, sure, we want him to do well, but it doesn't really matter if he, you know, finishes in the top 12, whatever, or the top, you know, 30th. It's just coming out here, racing dirt bikes, and um, having a good time, and just um, doing it like they used to, out of the back of a van. Um, Steve Shear from Red Bull, really, really good friend of ours and stuff, took some vacation time. And so he hopped in the van on Tuesday morning and boogied up here. And we, uh, Sean and I and his mechanic Dave, we flew in uh, early Friday morning to get here to get everything all set up. And here we are. It's beautiful. I've never been to Washougal before. And it's just um, dirt bike heaven.